Hey there guys, just wanted to clear up a few things about halftone dither and the threshold features on RE3. Uh, basically, there's an easy way to think about it that uh, your uh, halftone dither feature would be used for photos like this guy here on the left. So that when you hit threshold, you can see you actually go and you're just taking a section of the photo as you take the black and white threshold down. But if you take it over to dither, you can see the patterns applied and he's good. So, with a logo like this, it's a solid fill, you'd use a black and white threshold to kind of dial in how much of the logo you're seeing. So if there's a little bit, uh, you know, pixel, uh, we'll call it pixel garbage around the edge of it, you can actually dial that back by using a uh, threshold setting. So whether you're at, uh, you know, different resolutions or different speeds and power, remember too that you can also just come up here to the file settings, hit export uh, project to file. You can actually save um, these settings just how they were. So again, that's the difference between uh, threshold and dither here in uh, RE3.